Hello ladies and gentlemen, um, this is of course GuestGex, carrying on with our let's play of Resident Evil 4. Now, we are just about to go on a bit of a mine, uh, Minecraft, not Minecraft, Minecart adventure. Um, we begin by shooting that, and I tend to then go to the very back cart. Which I'm sure some of you watching will say, oh, no, he's supposed to be in the front one, the better one to be in. But it may well be, I don't know. But then, I'm ready on the old RPG for these lot, which that was good, that was just what the hell happened there. I think I actually managed to frag both of those. Yep, just. Because they will try and jump into the cars and cut your face off, which is never good. But, um. I don't know what happened there. There we go. Wow, that is a loud motorbike. Right. Um, so, pressing on. Yeah, it won't take very long for there to be um, some people that will manage to land on the cart, unfortunately. We will have to change weapon. But um, we'll try and get rid of as many of these as possible before that happens. Nice. Oh, for... Right. What we need to do... Yeah, we could, we could do without these lot being here. My god, we use a lot of ammo then, didn't we? Right, back to the RPG, I believe. Is that... I thought that dude was going to get up again. Panicked. There we go. This is a lot easier when you have the RPG, but we do have a chainsaw dude, or possibly two, jump in these cart with us as well. Which is not ideal. Oh god, we have to duck here. There we go. Oh, how did that... Ouch, a little bit close. And Chainsaw Dude didn't appreciate that at all. This, I don't know how the whether that's gonna work very well. No, in fact that stayed in my that stayed in my cart. That's not the right button at all. Sweet! However, we are almost out of ammo on this gun, so that's that's not so sweet. Christ almighty, think how much ammo we had not long ago. Let's duck again. I believe that's pretty much it. So I'm going to actually try and... Oh, it's not going to let me jump over. Damn it. There was a quick time event coming up. I was hoping to grab that ammo that is in the front cart, but um, I left it too late, because once it gets to this stage, it seems like you can't actually do that. But never mind. Ready for the jump. There we go. And then I believe you have to mash something to climb up. With an RPG as well, because Leon is just that hardcore. You can climb up with an RPG. Unfortunately, we can't get that. Unfortunately, obviously, just came out of the cart as we as it went over the edge. So there you go. Head through here, and we're pretty much done. This is the item we were looking for to put in the lion's mouth, stone of sacrifice. They don't half make this complicated for themselves, don't they? Anyway, so we climb up here. Oh. Oh, nothing in that one. Random Pesaters. Can't remember. No, I can't remember if there are any dudes waiting for us here. Sometimes there's. But anyway. So anyway, so there we do. It's locked. Offered the sacrifice to the lion. So we put these. Not the dynamite. We put. Let's just have a little look at this. A stone with engraving and an animal for sacrifice. It looks like a person being sacrificed, but anyway. Okay. So we use that anyway. And the door opens. Sweet. There we go. Into the next bit, and we really are getting close now to the end of the the end of the castle bit. Quick save. 
we've got an interesting sort of, we've got to try and outrun a giant statue thing in a bit, but anyway, as you'll see. Resident Evil, keeping it real, as ever. Here we go. Before we go any further, I'm just going to very quickly combine a few things. Uh, where's it gone? God's sake, here we go. Combine that with that, and then combine that with that, we end up with two Salazar family crowns. I believe we can also... Like that. There we go, so we've also got a couple of completed butterfly lamps as well. Quick save here. And we've got an interesting mechanic here, a kind of jumping, moving, platforming bit, which is a bit weird, but you'll see. So we head in here. What we want to do is walk, is if we go left at the bottom of here, yeah, there's a giant statue of Salazar there, but essentially we need to go, or we want to go left, but alas, something gets in our, in our way. Him, dude in the red robe. And suddenly all these people appear and his hands start moving, bizarrely. So anyway, what we need to do, should be a dude up here, yep. So we need to push these couple of switches. And there's one at the top of each of these sort of blocks on either side. Oh, hello, didn't see him. Go. So it's handy to just frag the. You can snipe them or whatever. It's just handy to get rid of them while they're here, while you can see them. Oh, of course, what I've done here by accident, I was forgetting, I've actually hit that lever. And if you shoot the lever, it sort of changes which hand comes down. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. He's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. Ow. Ow! Bugger off, right. Oh, hello. Yeah, so we need to, we essentially, we need to get off at the top. Oh, bottom. Right, there we go. So, first lever, first switch, even. Push that. And that brings up the first section of it, so now we need to really be... Oh, I want to be on the other side now to do the same again, essentially. Oh, Benny, did I take a walloping? So I've got to wait for the hand to come up. There we go. And then we want to jump over onto the middle bit. And activate this. I say you can just shoot it if you prefer. Doesn't really. Oh, oh, damn it! I thought I said take. Oh, that was rubbish. <sighs> that was really clever. I thought you said take because I knew there were some pesetas on the middle hand, so that was a bit of a derp. Never mind. Right, head round. Ugh, which means we've got to shoot this friggin' lever again. There we go. Right, take. That's what I was. That's what I was trying to do before. Right. So now you wait till the hand is ready for you to jump on, and you jump on like that. There we go. Sweet. And up here, before we actually go and push the proper lever. Oh. It's normally a couple of vases, but okay. Obviously not in this case. Anyway, so we want to get into here. Hello, sunshine. This is the one that pushed the friggin' button in the first place. There we go. Nothing ridiculous. Jump down. Now, once we push this lever, you're going to get a load of people will jump on you to try and mace you in the face. So, we just have to be ready with the RPG or shotgun or whatever you happen to be using. Here we go. And that's essentially it. Now, Quick time event galore. 
arguably might be worth the yeah, I am just because I'm feeling really non-confident at the moment I'm just going to go and quickly save I don't normally save I have to say but I am going to in this case <coughs> I've never actually failed this bit but it's the pressure of, of as I'm recording it there is also someone still alive by the sound of it but anyway we'll ignore him live and let live here we go Now, once you get to the end of the door, you've got to very quickly knife that off there. And then, yeah, you've got to knife the lock off the door, and then it's more sprinting, and then there's a jump. Quite how that is moving, I don't know, but anyway. There we go. There we go. So that's that. Essentially, that is that. Sweet. As you can see, not a lot left of this giant cathedral type thing. That's where we were. Oh, there's a, there's a pot over there. And unfortunately, it's now put like, it's put an invisible barrier there, so we, we couldn't go back there. So anyway, pressing on through here, we get a bit of a film clip, but you have to keep your finger on the controller during this film clip. You could join us, Mr. Scott Kennedy. You again. The sacred rite that's about to begin at this tower shall endow the girl with magnificent power. She will join us, become one of us. This is no ritual, it's terrorism. Isn't that a popular word these days? Not to worry, we've prepared a special ritual for you. Get ready for a quick time event. <laughs> There we go. So he's gone up the tower, so we're going to follow fairly swiftly. But before we do that, if we head around here, there's, I believe it's a yellow herb in here. Yep. Grab that. Now, as we start heading up the tower, we have to be a little bit careful. Let's see. I think there was some. Oh, here we go. I was going to say some handgun bullets, yeah. Which we now suddenly need after that minecart incident, anyway. So we head up here. And there are some explosive barrels that a chap is going to try and drop on us, which isn't very nice. Which I don't think we can get him just yet, but we can get him soon. There we go. Yeah, and those come rolling down the stairs and obviously explode, which isn't good. So, what we could do with getting rid of them as quick as possible. But anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, so we got rid of those two, so we just got to kind of time our run now a little bit. Up to here. Then we can go across here. And there's a ladder we can climb up in a minute. Let's go quickly see what's in here. Ugh, bugger all. Wait! That dynamite's right on my head. Anyway, climb up here. And we are now next to the lever. We can actually send these barrels down to get them. But you have to time it right. Which is easier said than done. But yeah, so you just push this lever and it drops a barrel. But, oh, got him. Yeah, as you can see, we made. Oh no, we hit, we hit one. There's more coming. But anyway, we don't actually need to wait for them. Oh, hello. Sounds like that actually hit somebody. It's easier just to frag them with this, to be honest. There we go. Alpha. So yeah, essentially that's that. 
So then what we do, we need to jump on this lift. Now this bit can go horrifically wrong, but what we need to do essentially is if we push these off, we're actually able to then use the lift. But there are a lot of baddies that jump on this. Each time you hear that yeah sound, that means there's, there's somebody about. We don't need to worry too much about that archer, but as I say, just keep focused on these ones, because there will be loads. And it's very easy to get swarmed. Ow! Bugger off. Actually, I'm going to take it off. Oh, another one. It's just missed the blast. That was a bit too close. Go. Obviously, again, if you've got a shotgun or whatever, you can just use that. There we go, and we're at the top. So, grab some of this crap that they all dropped. And we head out the proper way, whichever that is. This way. And we head round. And we're coming up to, very close to, the Salazar boss. So what I'll do is I'll just sprint through this. Because we won't need any extra ammo for that, really. And there's loads of ammo in the actual boss fights. Anyway, just grab a couple of bits. There we go. It's worth picking up those. There is also an item just down there. You can jump down there and grab that item in the chest. Can't remember what it is. Nothing crucial, but I can't be bothered to do that. Anyway, as we take this lift up, I'm desperately trying to get to a save point just before this recording runs out, which is just up here. We sprint to the top of these stairs, and there will be the merchant who will be waiting for us with a typewriter just before we go into the boss battle. The boss battle is just in there. Um, so grab the items off here. And in the next part, we will fight Salazar in his final form, his final evil plant like form. So yeah, join me to see that, and we shall be moving on to the island after that. So yeah, thank you for watching, and hope to see you next time.